Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive One. Jonas, I'm the man on the stick. You're holding a big stick in my hand. Yeah, it's a big white stick. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> San Francisco 49 of Nights, and uh, we're playing Madden 20. Yeah, as always. Uh, Get it in. Yeah, we're playing, playing offense only. We're simming the D. And, uh, yeah, we're playing on pro because you're good. Do you notice how, how often we interject, like, homoerotic, like, comedy into our into our thing here? I didn't realize it was comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's our bit. We you. always have, like, we start off with, like, a light homoerotic bit. <laughs> <laughs> a hearted male-on-male bit. Yeah, like, you just... <laughs> Over time, it's it's people are just gonna think something's going on. Hey, they can think whatever they want, man. I agree. You uh, you know what I was talking about today this morning? What's that? Gallagher. Remember Gallagher? I do not. He was the guy who smashed pumpkins with or watermelons with a uh, sledgehammer. Yeah. Well, dude. I mentioned it to someone who didn't know what it was, mm -hmm. and I looked it up with her, and I forgot that he smashed everything. He was smashing like toothpaste. He was smashing, like, cheeseburgers. He was smashing, like, he pulled out, like, an yeah. Atari, and he was like, video game games are your problem? And he, like, hit the Atari. That was his bit. That was, <laughs> was the bit. Like, it was, and people were, like, the audience reaction, they were loving it. it they were so, he was so big. Yeah. He was so big. So. I don't know. Our, I don't know bit, why. <laughs> his bit smashing stuff with a hammer. Ours is homoeroticism. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. There was like even some illegal distribution going on there because his brother or something started doing his bit for him. He was just posed as him. Oh, like it was like two Gallagher's one cup. Like he started having like two Gallagher shows on the same night, and everyone's like, "How's that possible?" No, it was I don't know something about. I just, I just sort of touched touchdown and accept the penalty. Oh, uh, it's because you're good, man. I, I wasn't paying attention. That's all right. It happened. No, it was something something different about his brother, uh, like, doing the bit, and he didn't want him to do the bit. And he was, oh, like his brother stole the bit. Yeah, but I think he, like, contracted him to do it sometimes. It was something weird. I don't, I don't remember the exact story, but I do know that there was multiple Gallagher's. It was like Gallagher impersonations like there were Elvis impersonators. Really? I'm going to Google this while we're talking about it. Right Feel now. free, Jonas. You don't have any siblings to steal your bit, so you're safe. I, uh, no one wants to steal my life. It's terrible. <laughs> no, just your bit, man, not your life. We don't uh, know. Oh. Okay. It's not like he posed in, in his bedroom for him with his wife. It was like, oh, honey, I don't feel like doing it. You can talk to my brother. Why would I? Gallagher in, Jr. Why would I type in Gallagher poses? One of the first auto things is Gallagher poses with corpse. Why would you be looking up Gallagher poses? Well, I put, I was going to say posers, imposers, <laughs> oh. imposters, whatever, dude. Why does he wait? Well, now I gotta see this. Is he, is he close to Why do you want to see happening? Gallagher with a corpse? <laughs> oh, because oh wait, there was a Navy SEAL who his last name was Gallagher who posed with a corpse. Oh my God, Jonas! <laughs> that was wow. I you were really you went down a rabbit hole in literally one <laughs> Google lookup. I know, right? It's happened. And went from smashing watermelons with a hammer to, to like really serious things to like. <laughs> I'm a Navy SEAL who posed with the corpse of uh, uh, the one guy, the ISIS nothing, guy. Nothing popped up. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's fine. I'll look I'll look into it deeper later. No! What the heck, dude? You lost what the splitting. Would, what do you to hit with a hammer? <laughs> <laughs> like, how you know the brother borrows something from you and... F hey, and you're like, you want to hit with a hit anything? I don't know. I don't really feel Do that. Do not say a human head. Uh, well, no, Jonas. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, honestly, what it comes down to is I don't really feel the need to let that aggression out. So I don't know. So you internalize all your aggression, then what happens to it? I don't know if I internalize it. I just let shit roll off my back. You just said that. I did, but it's late in the video. <laughs> <laughs> right. that time, this, from now on, I'm just <laughs> acknowledge that I did it. Uh, okay, <laughs> Accept I did it. it. What? Yeah, there's no taking it back at this point. <laughs> so yeah, I did all, it. It's, it's on a permanent record. Dude. Yeah, yeah. As long as it's not super early in the video. But yeah, yeah I don't know. So I don't really know anything I want to smash. How about you? I, already, I know you got one queued up. 
No, I don't. Like you I'm not an aggressive person, man. Champing at the bit to get something smashed, dude. What do you what, what do you want to smash? Here we go, here we go. You ask me the question, to answer it. <laughs> Tough the guy. answer isn't appropriate for the video. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to smash one. You're talking face, about face. donks, Jonas. <laughs> You're talking about uh, donks. Is, no, I don't know, dude. I don't I'm not an aggressive person. I don't like break I've never like been a person to break things. Like I don't like let my anger get the best of me. I don't You know they have like those uh those bars you can go to and you can like pay so so much amount of money and then they give you a room and you can like break anything in a room that really? you want to. Really? That would be kind of fun though. Th that would be fun. If you walk in there's just a bunch of like like saucers and mugs and you can just throw them at the wall. That would be great. Okay, were you at the party? Now this is like some real life ish. Were you at the party where we were at it was a girl's house and for some reason People just started breaking stuff and like throwing candles down the hallway and oh my like God, breaking. I know. I know. I know. Z man was there. Uh huh. And not that Z man, the guy whose name X Z. I, I got. I know Q man. <laughs> not the real Z man. The other Z man. Yeah, I know. I know. Now, well, I'm not surprised that if something was getting broken, he was there. Yeah. Because I've watched him break things many times. And it's like it started out where I was like playing the bongos at one point. <laughs> yeah, I would never be at someone's house who has bongos first. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely was. I remember just sitting on the couch pouring bongos and then we got progressively more intoxicated. And then people just started breaking stuff. And it became like she was like, I'm moving out anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I was like. Oh, okay. You, you don't know, care what, if we what, break. What woman was this? Do you know whose house it was? <laughs> wow. One of the like the one. Come on, you know all the crazy chicks that we used to hang out with back in Beulah. Man, it was one of them. Some of them were definitely. Uh, yeah, just a little. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they. Ha I could see a lot of them being like, "Oh, it's cool. Just break all my stuff." <laughs> <laughs> and, that's, and I'm not being facetious in any way. Like, I totally can see it happening. <laughs> Just hearing it being said again, I'm like, eh, well, that's the kind of thing that happens sometimes. Sounds like so what happened on a Saturday night. Yeah, sometimes that happens. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh... Yeah, there was a lot of weird things that went on back in the day, dude. <laughs> it like, really was. It, like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. my God. I'm not surprised that happened at all. I wasn't there, though. Yeah. Hey, I'm wow. going gonna, gonna to call a timeout because I meant to call a run play. It's only one yard and I'm wow. trying to pass it. So my own, yeah, my own All right, cool, is causing it. Um, it's really hard to, like, pay attention to this and, and, talk. and think about, like, reminiscing about. Yeah, dude, tell me about it. I'm playing on all, pro, on all Madden while we do this. I'm also experienced. <laughs> You're, like, what, 12 games in? Yeah, games in? yeah. I'm, keep, I'm holding it together though. We're winning. I did. I did ten games last week. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been doing that for how long? Oh my god, dude! I don't know. <laughs> it's been a long, dude. I need to go back and count how many games of Madden that we've a recorded. Crazy, ridiculous amount. And that's just in the last two years. That doesn't count all the other games I played like my whole life. Yeah, because I mean, just my Browns franchise last year, two hundred videos. That's two hundred games basically. That's nuts, and man. then, yeah, it's up to 100 this year. Plus, we did all the Desperados and the Golden Eagles and the Mounties and the <laughs> Oilers and the. Now, yeah, a lot of different teams. Yeah, dude, we got a plethora of things. That's, that's what we. That's what we strive to. Variety is the. Yeah. Variety. <laughs> 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 That's funny. <laughs> Variety. <laughs> 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 Look, I'm telling you right now, after after we finish this season, not that I'm not actually to some degree enjoying playing this, but it's mostly just the conversations we have over it. We're yeah, because it's not as intensive as like other games. Yeah, we're getting into something with some with some death. With some death? You're like, I can't just not kill things. <laughs> it's not even about killing things. This is like I don't know, man. Where am I going? I don't know, but you faked them out. <laughs> they all, like, you stopped, and they all just, like, kept running by. They're like, wait, what, who has the ball? I thought it was a pass play. I was trying. <laughs> I thought you did a flea flicker, and I was like, I didn't even know they had that in this game. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude, it's, um, I get it. I like Madden because, like, for me, I can play it, and I have to think a lot about it. And we can talk about whatever, and it's very much, like, whatever. But when we play, like, other games, like, we did like uh, Laura Vision, and we yeah. did Laura Vision Two, and we did uh, everything else. We're very much talking about what's going on in the game. This we don't have to talk about what's going on in the game at all. It's just football. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's uh, I like it because it's like different. I did it again. Yeah, did. I oops, did, oops, it oops, again. did it again. He did it again. He did it so many times, and he made them happy. I'm so poor at this game. Yeah. It's like it's funny because I'm not even embarrassed that I'm bad at it. Yeah, well, I mean it's like you own it. You knew it from going in. It ain't like you, you know, it's like it's not like you walk. I mean, you can walk into any open world game and be like, I'll be all right at this. But like it's something, you're like, there's so much to this, and you've never played it. Your mindset, you're is open. Like, I'm gonna be trash at this. So even if you're decent, you're like, oh, perfect. <laughs> It's a great way to look at things. Yeah, it's all right, though. It's all right, man. I mean, you're, all, you're eight and two. That's good. That is pretty for my first season. Yeah, dude, I mean, you're not playing on the hardest difficulty, but it's, I mean, <coughs> it's not. It'd be a lot different if you were, like, actually paying complete attention and we weren't distracted by, like, our rando conversation and all that other stuff. So, That's yeah, true. man, it's, uh, it's crazy. Yeah, dude. Have I ever been at a party where things got broken? Yeah, Jonas, I'm pretty sure you've been at a party where things got broken. I watched Z-Man swing a fan around by its cord and smash it in the cement one time. I've seen that. I don't know if I was at that party, but I've seen that. <laughs> like, that must be his MO. <laughs> Probably. As a matter of fact, I've seen him do it four times. Do you remember when somebody fell down the stairs of his house and hit their... Was it me? Did I fall? <laughs> That's the best part of the story. Do you remember this? When was somebody fell that? down the stairs and like dented the uh, the vent. I can't remember if it was me that fell down. The at uh at his parents' house. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I probably I don't I don't think I was there. I was there when the tree fell in the house. Okay, uh, you remember that? I was there for sure. <laughs> I remember oh, when it. Oh, this is great. <laughs> 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 and we're all just like <laughs> champing at the bit for him to get home. Yo, t tell the story because it's actually a good story. You can't oh, just so you can't just lose. And we were all hanging out being nerds. Oh my god! And there's a really bad thunderstorm, and all of a sudden it, it feels like, like 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 the, like a car hit the house. And we're like, what the heck just happened? And <laughs> so we go, we start checking bedrooms in the upstairs, and we get to the very last room, which is his little brother's room, who's old enough to have a job, who is at work. <laughs> Oh, wow, okay. You gotta it's shame, like, it's, it's you gotta a lot shame worse of a story because it's like a six year old brother, and we're like, ah! <laughs> he's like a grown kid. And there's a tree had come through the roof, went through the house into his brother's bedroom. Right into his bedroom. Right and above his bed. Right above his bed. All his stuff's just getting wet. It was a really oh. bad thunderstorm. And there was like nothing we could do. And we just sat there and waited for his brother to get home. And then we were like, go look at your room, go look at your room, go look at your room. <laughs> Obviously, he saw the tree. It was dark, and though. He probably didn't. No, he saw the tree. It was dark, but he had his He light. goes up and opens the door, and he goes, I, You can't oh, miss a is, tree. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> but he's... <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as he said that the room erupted in the light, we were a-holes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't even help him. <laughs> we complete. Like all his, we could have moved all his stuff out of the way. <laughs> we could have put a tarp up we or just, something. We just played cards the rest of the night <laughs> for like three and a half hours. <laughs> Looking back, we were a-holes. <laughs> we are such dicks. <laughs> So if someone ever asked me what's the worst thing I've ever oh done, that's pretty God. close. We were such dicks. We didn't take his stuff and put it in the water. That would no, have been way worse. Yeah, that would have been Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, we put your computer next to the window if I might want a bath. Oh, my God, dude. That was a good, that was a good uh, oh, man. time. Dude, yeah, dude, that was crazy. There's uh, a ton of stories from that era, dude. Oh, my God, dude. So I, many. Have I ever been somewhere where, like, I, like, I've never been in a party where things erupted. No. Have you ever been at a bar where a fight broke out? Uh, yes. Like a bit, not like just like a guy, but like we're no. like, we're like, <laughs> like <laughs> numerous people were fighting. No, not like a bar fight, bar fight, but definitely a, a fight. Yeah, I've seen a fight at a bar. I see a guy walk up and sucker punch someone and knock him out cold standing at the bar one time. Dang. I helped carry the guy outside. Dang. He, he, got, he walked up to him and literally just one punch hit him and then walked out the door. Why the did bar he do left. that? I don't know. I think something about a woman, I guess, is like what I gather. But like the dude hit the floor hard and I helped his friends carry him outside to the patio to like so he, he could like. Dang. Yeah, dude. I was like standing at the bar. Dude just walked up, swung on him one punch and walked away. I was like. What the f just happened? It was at a Halloween party, so it, like it was weird. You know, I've never been in a fight over a female. No, oh, me neither. I've never really thought about anything. 
It's not that I would not defend a woman's honor. I don't right, want right, that to right, be Right, right, right. It's one thing to stand up for a woman who's being wrong, especially if it's your girlfriend. Oh, they were ready for it. Yeah, Um. but I'm not. Yeah, dude, that's not going to be my first option. And if you're a female, why are you getting yourself in situations where you got where I got to fight? Right. You know, that's my permanent record. How am I going to become president if you out here making me I, fight everybody that disrespects you? I kind of have a hot take on this. What's if that? I was dating someone and they put themselves in a situation that was solely their fault mm -hmm. that caused me to have to get to a physical altercation to like defend them i probably would be done with them. Well, I don't think that's how it usually happens, though. I think it usually goes down like, he spilled his drink on me. I don't know who the fuck you think you are. I'll get my boyfriend to beat your ass. Yeah. And then they're like, baby, this guy just spilled a drink on me. What are you going to do? Uh, don't do that. Yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> I was like, did he say he was sorry? See, I thought you loved me. If you're a bitch. Right, and, and it, if that was the situation. Female dog, I'm sorry. If that was the situation, I would pr probably be done with her too. <laughs> if you came to me like, why aren't you going to fight this guy? Over, I'm why like, aren't you going to fight get this F, guy? Get F out of my face. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very much like, if you, like, if that point you're causing negativity, like major negativity in my life. Yeah. If you're putting me in situations where I have to defend you physically, you can have somebody else defend you. I'm good. Even. <laughs> like, if it happens to you, un you know, it's one thing. Like, someone comes up and they're being gropey or being ignorant or being whatever. But if it's like, yeah, if you're causing, if you're starting the problem, like, he spilled a drink, he said he was sorry. What what am I supposed to do? You got to honestly. What are you supposed right. to do? Right, I can be like, did he apologize? Yeah, he did. Then what's the problem? He didn't do it on purpose. Like, again. get off of me! <laughs> but I have seen a bar fight where I saw numerous people fighting, and a man break a pool stick over another man's shoulder Jesus, in the why? bar. It was an Ashtabula. For why though, is dude? It, I don't know. Like, it is got it real. That serious? It got real. And I was like, I'm going to die. Like, that's what I thought. I was like, oh, my God. I need to, like, get away from this. Oh, wait. I did. What did I do? You did something bad. Did I? Yeah, I think you did. Good job. I'm so bad. I'm but, uh, listening to your story. I don't know the buttons. They're not. I was just it's playing. all good, man. I was wait. just playing Overwatch. Yeah, it's all good. The A button is, is jump. <laughs> yes, there's no jump button in this. Actually, there is. There's a hurdle button. That's why. Is there a hurdle button? Yeah, I don't really know what it's used for because you've you never You can hurdle, hurdle boys. It's not like jump over a standing man. You can't jump. You can probably jump over a standing man, Jonas. Then hit the Y button. See what happens. I am. I'm tapping well, it right now. I mean, you, well, you can't be like grope and jump. <laughs> I thought it was going to like Superman fly out of the pile of bodies. Good. Yeah, man. It's uh, Bar fights are scary because people are drunk and you don't. And people get insane. Like, yeah. and just the fact that you will fight another person in public for next to no reason is crazy enough. Yeah. Let well, alone if there's numerous of you. That's why people get shot. Because <laughs> people have, that's like, a gun and it just, stuff just pops off and then people just get in. He's not wrong. That is how people get shot. Because they're like, oh, I have a gun. Well, sure. Why do you burn to the bar? <laughs> just in case somebody disrespects you so yeah. you can pull it out and look like a tough guy with your gun. Yeah, right? Because... That's, that, yeah, dude, or that's, maybe you have drugs or <laughs> paraphernalia that you have to keep safe. I don't, yeah. I don't know why else anybody would take a gun to a, a club or I, anywhere. Yeah. There was like the football player, Plaxico Burris, who had the gun in his belt and it fell out as he's going up the steps and it yeah. discharged and shot himself. And then he got trouble. It was a felony for carrying the gun. Yeah. And, like, without a, yeah. Then he like, yeah, it was bad. I do remember that. Cause yeah. I was like, why? I was living in Pennsylvania when that happened. It was all over the place. Dude, I just, like, I just don't. Yeah, because he had just got done playing for the Steelers and went to the Giants, and then that's what happened. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't get people, like, I get why people like guns. I don't think, I, anyone who wants a gun, have half a gun. Whatever you want to <laughs> do, have your guns. Why have do you need to carry game. it to the bar? Why? why do you, what, what do you, you know, okay, so their argument, Jonas, let's play devil's advocate. Okay, their argument I'm is going to devil's advocate. Their argument is going to be uh, the only thing that can stop a good guy, a bad, a bad guy, guy with, with a gun, gun is a good guy with a gun. Fair. Fair. Okay. So then. is that, but you want to be a vigilante, just vigilante of justice and like be like, per, but if you're going to do that, fine. If that's your mindset, it's the last play of the game. Oh, F it. <laughs> we'll, we'll wrap it up here. If. 
if that's your mindset, fine. But don't get drunk. Because you can't be a good guy with a gun if you're a drunk good guy with a gun. Because your judgment is impaired. You don't you don't know my body. I do it. Right. And that's the mindset and that's why people get shot. <laughs> I can handle it. I can handle my gun when I'm drunk. <laughs> No, you can't. I'll sir. handle no, your you wife. Can't. You can absolutely handle the gun. Your decision making is not the best. <laughs> all right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Make sure you uh, do something else to help us out. Tell a friend. Send them our way. Whatever. Mm -hmm. But for Jonas and TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. Uh, we are. That guy's a rap CD. Out. I bet. Oh, yeah, he is.